What is going on you guys, Bastion Wager here coming at you, coming at you with my True King 6 Samurai deck profile. Now I know I, I said, I know I said I wasn't going to make a 6 Samurai deck profile with featuring the new support because then. So yeah, I'm not going to be making an updated uh, deck profile for the new 6 hand support because I just, I just don't like it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I don't like it, but I saw some online profiles, I thought this deck looked really interesting, so I decided why not, you know, just gotta make it. Uh, I'm missing four cards from this so far. Um, just uh, I'm missing the diagrams and one more deco token. It should be complete, but I just wanted to get this deck list out to you guys as soon as possible. So without further ado, this is it. First off, you're gonna want to play your triple Fuma. This card is incredibly important in this deck. You need to play it at three of when it's popped, when it's destroyed by a by a battle or a card effect. You can special summon any six samurai from your from your deck. Normally you would go you're gonna go into uh you're gonna go into Kizaru. Kizaru lets you special summon a um not Kizaru lets you add to your hand a six samurai with a different attribute with a different attribute that you don't already have on the board, which is really really good, helps you um, uh, keep resourcing your hand and things like that. But Fuma is so important because you can you can pop this with diagram, right? Special summon a Kizaru, then Kizaru is the only monster on your board. So you get to add another Fuma to hand. So you keep resourcing, you keep special summoning, and then you use your Kisarus to go into things like Deco Token versus Radiance. So you can free up more, uh, more uh, extra deck slots. So of course you're gonna want to play triple Kizaru, triple Fuma, triple Kizaru. You have the capability. To, you're gonna burn through all three Fumas in your first turn. Best case scenario, and most most likely gonna happen if you draw any True King or a diagram, it's gonna be absolutely busted. So you definitely want to play 3 Kizaru because it helps you resource your hand, like I said before. Next, you're going to want to play 2 Kageki. I thought about running him at 3, but um, I think 2 is enough. He just lets you kind of like normal summon special for the for you to get counters on United. It makes it easier that way. It's also a wind, so it helps um, when you need a when you don't have Fuma in your hand and you need a pop for that True King. For the wind trooping. You want to play double Hatsumi. Hatsumi is really important in the deck because you can banish two six samurai monsters to special summon a six samurai monster. So um, if you run out of Fumas in your deck, you can normal summon Hatsumi, bring it back, and then pop it. So it's really it's really important. It's a monster reborn of the deck. Um, you're always gonna have multiple six samurais in your grave, so it's never really a brick card. Worst case scenario, you just sink or summon with this into a Shien or anything like that. It's a really really good card. Really really good card. Next for the tuners of the deck you're gonna wanna play uh, two Gemba. Gemba I chose Earth because it's easily searchable through through Kizaru because since you can't search a um, an attribute that you already have on board you can't search Kagemusha because Kizaru is Earth and so is Kagemusha but you can definitely search Gemba because it's the only fire um, Fire Six Samurai, Fire Masha we play in this deck, except for the one True King Vanisher. So it's really easy to get out, uh, really easy to search, which makes Synchro Summoning a lot easier too. I'm gonna play the Lonely Kizan. I never thought I'd see the day when I would have a Six Samurai deck that didn't have three Kizan. It's just that Kizan isn't that accessible anymore, it doesn't really help you that much. So running it at one is nice to get that one free special summon. You search it off a gateway, you search it off. Um, a Rhoda if you really want it. Normally you won't be searching this card though, it just if it's in your hand you get you know, free special summon. You're gonna be using this to link summon a lot. Rarely the synchro summon, but uh, yeah, he's just not as important anymore, but he, he's still a good card, you know, free special summon. That's gonna be it for the 6 Samurai engine guys, now we're gonna go to the True Kings. You wanna play Triple Big Chicken, the wind one. You want to play three of these because you got three Fumas, so you need to maximize your opportunity to be able to pop the Fumas and go into your plays. This is also really good because when itself is destroyed, you get to add a True King to your hand from the from the deck. So it lets you uh, it lets you deck thin, it lets you search more resources. So I think this is the by far the most important one. Actually, I lied. This is the most important one. They're both equally important. I don't know, <laughs> but th this one's really busted too because when when Fathomer is destroyed, um, you get the special summon one non-water worth uh, one non-water worm monster from your deck. So you're gonna be summoning out uh, Big Chicken or or Vanisher. 
and this lets you go into calamities really really easily you're most likely not going to be activating fathomer's effect to special summon itself like to pop two cards and special summon itself you're usually going to be using um you're going to be popping this with a chicken and a fuma because then you get super plus you get two special summons and a search so yeah you're going to play double fathomer the one true king vanisher this is just a um kind of a you need a you need a six one so you can special summon it out so you don't break with fathomer um worst case scenario you pop a gemba special summon it and a 2900 beat stick like you just can't go wrong with that it's it's really good to just have in the deck next for consistency and for fixing bricky hands i got triple bow baboon this this card is actually really really nutty because if you pop one Baba Boon, you get special summon two from the deck, then you fix your hand and everything. And what you can do is if you can summon another six samurai monster or any monster, you can just make deco talker straight away using the two Baba Boons. So it's a free pop and deco talker almost right away. That's why I like it. It'd be really nice if these were Earth so you can go into Mrs. Radiant, but we can't have everything. And eh, it's fine as it is. I really like it. Then you're gonna play the one Gofu. It's such a free card, there's no reason why you shouldn't play the Gofu in a deck. It gives you a free Deco Talker and it frees up two Link Zones, which is really important for this deck because this deck, um, the best board I think it can make is a uh, Calamities with Proxy Dragon and Deco Talker as well as one or two Sheens. So this helps you out a lot when you want to make those type of boards. That's it for the monsters guys, we're going to go into our spells. Like I said, I'm missing the diagrams, but you definitely want to, want to play three diagrams. I've had the Lost Worlds because I don't really play dinosaurs anyway, so got the Lost Worlds in there for the diagrams. Um, extremely important to the deck, you're going to need them. That's why you're going to want to play triple terraforming to search out your diagrams so you can pop your, your Fumas and whatnot. You're going to want to play triple Sheen smoke signal to search your Fumas. This Fuma is the only card you're going to be searching off this. You gotta make sure you have that in your opening hand, or else it's just not gonna work well. You're gonna wanna triple United, one Gateway. These are pretty self explanatory. Gateway is a god card. You can add any six samurai back from your deck or your graveyard to your hand. It's really, really good. You can move six counters, special summon the Sheen if it's destroyed, special summon it. Um, you can even boost your monsters by 500. Gateway is just. It's just a god card. I really want this to come back to three. And then United for your for your search power. For your draw power, I mean. Next you're gonna wanna play one reinforcement, one soul charge, one regeki, and one disciples of the true Draco Phoenix. This is really really good card because it lets you resource your your uh, your true kings in the grave back into your deck, making diagram always always live. I thought about bumping this up to two and making this a 41 card deck, but um, I think at one is just fine right now. Um, I'll, I'll keep play testing because this card is really really good. I definitely play this over Heritage because Heritage you don't really get much advantage of it of it off it. <laughs> and uh, Draco Phoenix is just a, the better card in my opinion in this deck anyway. Then for the last card of the deck, you want to play one True King's Return. This is pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. You get to just activate it and special summon your True Kings back from the from the graveyard during your opponent's phase, end phase. Then you uh, then you can potentially pop and make a make another rank nine. I don't know. It's just it's just a really good card to have. And if your opponent were to for some reason pop, you get a free pop in your opponent's monsters. So that's really good. That's gonna be it for the main deck, guys. Now we're going on to our extra deck we have one mrs radiant uh, like i said you can just make this with two kizarus or a kizan and kizaru it's just a very very live card because you got four earths that are all very likely to come out the first turn so mrs radiant's a really good card it also frees up two of your two of your slots so you, you don't need deco talker it's just nice but you can also just end the board with a mrs radiant next you want to play two proxy dragon uh one of them is for your um your deco talker and gofu play and the other one you just have just in case you um already got rid of the message reading and you need to go into a link two to free up some spots and or just special summon another monster to get the deco talker out it's just good to have two proxy dragon um it's not necessary but you know it's it's good to have 
and you want to play the two deco talker i said i am missing one um hopefully i'll pick it up this week but deco talker is just an extremely broken card you end up with uh with this Shein uh, calamities it's just really broken you want to play one levier because you're going to be banishing a lot in this deck for hatsumi's effect for if your six hands get destroyed by card effect remember you can always Banish your six samurai from the graveyard to save one six samurai from destruction by card effect. So Levier just lets you get it back. I'll play one tornado dragon for the pop. One abyss dweller. Abyss dweller has become one of my new favorite, um, favorite little uh, XEs. It's just really good to have. It it tears apart light swarms. It uh, Hurt Spiral, not that bad, but you know, it's pretty good. Laguska is an incredible egg seed. Um, there's just not much I can say about this. It's completely busted. You summon in defense, your opponent can't do anything about it. Next turn, you put it in attack position and just smack all your opponent's monsters. I'm gonna play one Calamity. I thought about making this two because there's potential to make two of them. Um, but I think one is just now because I have this extra deck that's a kind of tight. I want to play the one Phantom Fortress, enter Blood, enter this card. <laughs> um, this is a really good card. It's, just, it's like another Trish. You can make Trish, Vanish card from your opponent's hand, then make this and banish another card. It's just really, really good. You want to play two Shien. Um, you don't want to play three because you rarely go into two as it is. Um, it's just good to have if, if your opponent gets rid of the first Shein, you can summon another one, but you're you're never going to go into three Sheins in my opinion. If you do, then you, I don't know, most likely lost the game. I'm going to play one Stardust. Um, this is just really good because whenever any card on your board will be destroyed, you can just um, send this to the grave instead, or banish, I forgot what the effect was. Yeah, you can just send it to the graveyard and special summon it again. It's just a really good card. Um, I think it's really underrated now, it's not played as much. If you don't want to play it, that's perfectly fine, you can play something like Omega. Omega is a really good card too, I just cut this card. Um, this deck can be very vulnerable to board wipes, so if you don't have a Shein on board, you're definitely going to want to have a Stardust on board because if not, then you're just going to have a, a True King Calamities, a Deco Talker, and a Shein. If you already use the Shein the gate, then you're screwed. So I think um, either Sheehan or Stardust is really good to have first turn. For the last card, you're going to want to play one Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. It's a really good card. Of course, uh, it's limited for a reason. You can banish a card on your opponent's grave, field, and hand, untargetable. I mean, it um, un doesn't target when it makes the effect. So it's a really crazy card, and you can usually just, um, when all, all hell breaks loose, and uh, you only have one True King, and you can make this. You have the true king, you make this, like I said before, banish your opponent's hand. And then if it's all you have, you can go into Calamities or, or Fathomer. Not Fathomer, um, Phantom Fortress. And then, uh, yeah, you can just have a, a really good XE on board. So that's it, guys. That's going to be it for my uh, true king six samurai deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more videos. And uh, leave a comment down below tell me what you think, what would you improve, anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's it guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.